Then do it. And we're you live. Gotta <laughs> And we're going to play the intro. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of One Stop Live. We're up to episode eight. I'm Didi from One Stop Warehouse in Brisbane, and I'm joined here with Tim from One Stop Warehouse in Sydney. Hi, Tim. How are you today? Hi, Didi. How are you going? We had a pretty busy morning. We've had a frantic morning. We've been Pedaling hard to get this together. So we apologise we're a little bit late today, but it's we've got day. it together. Um, we did it. We have a special guest. Jason Venning from FEMA is our special guest. He won't be here live. We had to pre-record him about 20 minutes ago. Um, but we look forward to hearing what he has to say. So Jason Venning was appointed the country manager of FEMA Australia. And I'll put up this little graphic so we can see him. Um, uh, in March 2020, after the acquisition of ABB Solar Business, with more than 28 years of experience in electricity, power generation and water infrastructure industries, he has an extensive experience in leading teams and driving business performance, as well as project managing large-scale projects and programs of work. Most recently... Jason managed the ABB solar business in Australia, which included responsibility for New Zealand. And now we're going to play our interview with Jason. Yeah. Hi, Jason. Welcome. Great to see you. Love the beanie. Looking very, very <laughs> cool. Thank of course, you, Tim. Of course, everyone has been getting these beanies from FEMA um, with the FEMA Winter Is Here pack. And uh, we've uh, Didi just put out a whole heap of them to uh, people who purchased your inverters, which was very exciting. So, Didi, um, how did that, how's that been going? Yeah, great. We, we sent 30 bags last week and there will be more in the coming weeks. You look good, That's Jason. That's exciting. You're very good. <laughs> no, look, I'm very uh, pleased to hear that. And uh, look, thanks for the opportunity. Good to join you both uh, uh, on the on the chat. On this new virtual studio. Mm. Something new. Well, I guess I can start with the first question for the day, Jason. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about FEMA and what's this new era that we've seen so far? Yes, of course. So just to sort of fill in the backstory a bit. So FEMA acquired ABB solar business uh, and that transaction closed in March this year. So now we're entering, what is it, our uh, fourth or fifth month of being uh, FEMA. So FEMA is an Italian company, family owned. They've been operating for uh, well over 70 years and they've got a strong background in inverter technology and they made their own decision to move into solar probably about 10 or so years ago. And they were focusing mainly on the larger utility scale. Uh, mm -hmm. And they thought ABB Solar Business was a great fit for them because it offered them the residential and commercial portfolio that they didn't have, as well as an alternative central inverter product for those larger utility projects. So they could see a lot of synergy there. Uh, and uh, really completed their portfolio and gave them a truly global footprint. So uh, for FEMA uh, now, they've become the fourth largest inverter manufacturer in the world as a result of the acquisition. And uh, the ABB team here in Australia, the solar team, we've moved across to FEMA. And um, you know we're all really excited about working for FEMA because now you know 94% of our business volume is purely all about solar. Mm. So it's very clearly a, a major focus for us. 
a bit different from ABB, very huge company, lots of different uh, business lines and products competing for attention. So it's great for us to be part of a business that really is all about solar. That is the focus. Mm. Um, and so the new era is about um, really relaunching uh, the FEMA brand with that focus on solar, saying now we are a truly global company and we're going to build on the good products that were developed by ABB and really take them to another level and release new products into the market to fill gaps in our portfolio and just do things differently because we're a smaller company even though we're still global we can be more agile more customer focused and we can do things that just would not have been possible uh, in the solar business um, as it existed under ABB so it's given us a lot more freedom and scope to do things the way we want to and be more responsive to the market so we're all really excited about it and um despite COVID-19 and everything that's come our way, um, I'm pleased to say that, you know, apart from some downturn in residential, which, you know, which is obvious because, you know, people are out of jobs and they just don't have the money to spend on solar like they would. Commercial and industrial and utility have continued to be uh, really strong for us. So, yeah, very exciting. And one of the great things is now we're going to, we're rolling out our partner program and, uh, you know, it was really, really fantastic to get One Stop Warehouse as our uh, inaugural uh, partner and to uh, work with you to uh, see how it works, iron out the kinks and just make sure it's going to deliver <laughs> we do our uh, best. <laughs> the promises for, you know, the benefits for both parties. So, I mean, we're really grateful and, and pleased to uh, yeah. see what we can both achieve in the next six months and then obviously mm -hmm. roll that program out to our, our wider uh, channel partner group uh, in 2021. Well, certainly we're looking forward to working with FEMA on that and being the guinea pigs um, mm. is okay. It's going to be an <laughs> exciting time. And we're really um, enjoying the fact that um, working more closely with a brand like FEMA, um, we're learning from the, from you guys as well. So we're yeah. appreciating that, mm. that exchange of knowledge. Um, can you tell me what you would say to our uh, installers um, why FEMA is the best inverter brand? What, what's, what's the thing that you think they really connect with? Mm. Well, what we're trying to do now is to, to show that we're genuinely interested in the installers and um, we're genuinely interested in their feedback on our products, giving them the best possible experience uh, and because we are now FEMA and because of who we are and uh, our size, we can do more with installers. We can be more responsive to their needs. We can make the experience with FEMA more seamless. That's what we're trying to get to. So, I mean, I've got a very good team working for me and we're now trying to just make things easier for installers, whether it be uh, contacting technical support, whether it be submitting a warranty claim, uh, giving them better feedback about uh, what's happening uh, when they have logged an inquiry with us. So it's a work in progress, but mm. we want to make it easy for installers to deal with us and you know be responsive and, and be ready to meet their needs. And I know that probably sounds fairly basic, but no, it's, it's just not something that uh, we were able to do to the level that we really wanted to in the past. But now mm. as FEMA, I mean, we're really focused on doing that better and giving installers a reason to, to choose us uh, is, is all part of that. So we're also just really focused on um, uh, making sure we've got a more complete portfolio. We've got new three phase uh, products coming out uh, uh, in the beginning of uh, 2021, which fills up a, a fairly big gap in our portfolio in that 10 to 30 kilowatt three phase range. We know that's a huge market and uh, we're really looking forward to launching what will be our first FEMA branded product into the marketplace uh, in Q1 2021. And in that way, we can truly say that we can offer a full portfolio to our channels and to our customers and they don't have to say well i go to fema for this and i have to go to someone else for this we'll have the whole range available 
So people who want to use FEMA can choose FEMA products for pretty much any project they might come across, which is you know, something that we've been missing, but we're really looking forward to filling that gap. Fantastic. And um, so what are the, like the hot products that you would recommend um, to our installers? Sure. Well, I mean, the REACT2, which is our residential uh, battery storage system and hybrid inverter, um, hopefully some people uh, watching this have, have seen my videos that have been posted and uh, we're just about to post the last one in, uh, in the coming days. So the REACT2 is our battery solution. So we believe that it offers advantages because first of all, it's a hybrid inverter. So it's solar and battery inverter in one box. So you can have a brand new system. You don't have to have a separate solar inverter. It's all in one box. And because it is a hybrid inverter, um, you're not having to convert DC to AC and back into DC again to charge your batteries, for example. So you're maximising the amount of power coming from your solar system that's actually going to your batteries rather than losing some of that energy in uh, multiple conversions from DC to AC and back again. And because the batteries and the inverter come as a modular package, so it all comes from FEMA, it's all supported by us. And the connection between the batteries and the inverter is a very simple plug and play system. And you can choose to start with four kilowatt hours and then expand whenever you feel you're ready to eight kilowatt hours up to 12 kilowatt hours. So we've chosen to take a modular approach rather than just here's one big battery that's you know 12, 13 kilowatt hours worth because not every um, family or every situation might need that much storage or they might want to see how their uh, system performance goes and how they modify their demand over time. They could start small and they can always expand. Mm -hmm. So the investment doesn't have to be everything all at once. You can get the inverter um, even without batteries and you can add batteries at any time you like. Uh, and I think because it's from one manufacturer, we can support all of it and you're not having to go to multiple companies uh, for technical support or feedback or in the unlikely event of making having to make a warranty claim, you're just coming back to us. Uh, and uh, I think that offers a, well, we believe that offers significant benefits Absolutely. and we are now um, uh, assessed and available under the Victorian and the South Australian Home Battery Scheme for the REACT2. Good. Uh, so you mentioned warranties. What kind of warranties does FEMA um, give its inverters? So in our single phase range, so our Uno DM uh, Q range and also the REACT2, for the inverter we offer a full 10-year replacement warranty. So not a 5 plus 5 where the second 5 is just parts only. So it's full 10 years out of the box. So you don't have to do anything, you don't have to register, you don't have to do anything special to activate your warranty. If you buy a FEMA single phase inverter product, that's 10 years straight out of the box. So, I mean, we believe that that um, remains one of the, the best warranties available in the market today for single phase. Uh, and, you know, I'd like to think that that shows that, you know, the level of confidence we have in our products and how much we're prepared to you know, stand behind our products and you know, support them. Again, things do go wrong from time to time, we know that, but um, we're here in for the long haul and we're prepared to uh, put out a fully comprehensive warranty for 10 years, which I think is a, hopefully a, another good reason to, uh, to go with FEMA. If Very anyone good. have any question, um, this afternoon you guys have a webinar, right, 4 p.m.? Um, yes, we do. We do. So um, today we'll be looking at, uh, I believe we're focusing on our residential range. So touching on the Uno DM and the React 2 uh, and looking at some sales technical uh, type training for those two products. So really going a deep dive into the product features uh, and advantages of, uh, of the FEMA product range. So that's been done by Warren Merritt, who's my technical sales lead. And uh, Warren, he knows uh, he knows what he's talking about. So, it'll be a very informative session, and uh, we'll be doing a number of these over the coming months, just to increase our uh, brand awareness and presence, and also just 
get the message out there about our products to encourage people to uh, to try us if they haven't been using uh, our products before. Perfect. Thanks, Jason. Um, we're also showing um, a video at the end of this show from Filippo Caraz. Carsoniga, thank yes. you, sir, um, who is uh, announcing the fact that we've become a platinum partner with mm. you. So we're very excited to show that at the end of the show. And no, that's we th right. Thank you for your time and thank your patience. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> that's all right. No, th thanks, Tim. Thanks, DD. Great to have the opportunity and also fantastic to be working with One Stop and uh, looking forward to doing great things. Uh, for the rest of this year and into the future um, for, for both of our businesses. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank Thanks, you. Jason. Thank you. And that was our interview with Jason. He was a And I was on mute as well. We were Jim, both on, on mute. mute. I know. Anyway, let's move to the next topic of the day, which is a bit of a company announcement. Um, everyone knows probably what's going on in Victoria. Um, so due to the recent rise in the case of COVID-19, our sales team in Victoria will primarily work from home and will be unable to answer our landline. So to place any order, or if you have any inquiry, please email your or call your dedicated sales account manager or victoria at onestopwarehouse.com.au. The operation team will be still working from the office, so there are no changes in the standard um, stock procedure. Just be mindful when you get there of the um, distancing, you know, the physical distancing and the um, hygiene uh, practice. And as of the <laughs> 20 minutes, um, the Victorian government has announced the Metropolitan Melbourne and Mitchell Shire will return to stage three. So that's stay at home restrictions from today. Just a quick update for the New South Wales solar workers looking to do work in Victoria. You'll need to get a permit from Service New South Wales. Um, there will probably be a similar arrangement for Victoria. So obviously the hotspots are very closed down, but if you're moving across the border, you're still going to have to get permission to do that. So next um, topic is time to update your account. So One Stop Solar community is growing and in order to better serve you and improve our business processes and content, we're asking you to log into your account and update any information that um, yeah, they, they, they might need to be changed. So just follow the simple three steps um, and ensure your information are correct. All you need to do is log into One Stop Warehouse account, click on the right corner, your name uh, and then profile. And then you can see that there, there is a simple form. Just make sure that the state is correct and then click save. Easy peasy. Fantastic. And uh, it'd be really helpful for us and helpful for you if you um, if you do that. Um, we're excited to announce that we're launching one stop solar sessions coming soon um, with a one stop solar session CPD mm -hmm. development month. So that'll be a series of four virtual installer training sessions starting in August. Um, due to COVID-19, we're not going to be org organising face-to-face sessions. But the good news is that you can still earn CPD points with us doing these virtual training events. Um, and so we've got a question for you. What time of day would you prefer? So let us know by comment commenting in this post or uh, there's a link to a really good form that Didi put together. A um, couple of simple questions that you click through and then we collect that data. So we appreciate your help with that as well. And for the new product announcements, today we're going to talk about Sangro. Um, they updated their residential inverter. As you can see from uh, this banner, uh, the premium version single-face inverter are available in stock now. 
Uh, some of the key features are um, certified disease layering build, art for detection circuit interrupter, 24 hour consumption monitoring, and 10 years standard warranty. So, this is our new. Um, single phase residential, and then we still have the old version inverter in stock with five plus five year warranty. And this one here, the, it's the Sangro Hybrid Inverter SH5K 30 kilowatt, um, the new one, but we still have in stock the 20 kilowatt one. So please ask your account manager for detail and pricing. Didi, I believe there are jobs going at One Stop Warehouse and Discover Energy. So can you share with us what those jobs are? Sure, team. Uh, we're always looking for talent here at One Stop. Um, this week, we're looking for an account assistant. So for our finance team in the uh, Queensland um, office, we're also looking for a warehouse operator in uh, New South Wales, and our friends at um, Discover Energy are looking for a junior business development manager in their North Sydney office. As always, if you want to apply, you can uh, look for look up for um, the ads on seek.com.au or you can um, double check our social media platform. There are plenty of information there, or you can just simply email your resume to Rebecca at hr at onestopwarehouse.com.au Thanks for that. <laughs> um, industry news. Now, there's some controversial topics happening um, that were reported by PV Magazine and we thought it was worth um, bringing up. So the Australian energy market regulator has suggested that solar households should be asked to pay a network fee to be allowed to export energy to the grid. The reason is a voltage problem that's caused by the rising share of rooftop PV. Forward and reverse power flows through the distribution network fluctuate widely during the day, and this fluctuation can impact the quality of reliable power supplies at certain times. Now we think that Australian families putting solar on their roof are doing the right thing for the environment um, and for our power grid. Um, so Solar Citizens National Director Ellen Robertson also suggested that big coal and gas generators aren't charged for exporting their power to the grid. So why should we be slugging Australian families with panels on their roofs? If we want to look at this um, with equity in the energy system, let's look at the big players making big profits, not mum and dads with solar. So I think that's going to be an issue that's going to be a big talking point at the moment. So if you'd like to start a conversation with us um, regarding this, send us an email or put your thoughts and comments in the post here. Thank you, team. And big batteries are becoming increasingly attractive for investors as Australian transition to a renewables dominated grid continue to accelerate. In the last six months alone, the level of investment in large scale battery storage in Australia has doubled on the back of rapidly falling costs, according to analysis of, uh, by the Clean Energy Council. And great news, last week we saw two cities switch to 100% green power. The city of Sydney will run entirely on renewable energy generated from wind and solar farm in the regional New South Wales area. The council will now source all its building, street lights, sporting facility, as well as the iconic Sydney town hall with renewable energy. And the city of Adelaide's power will come from a big wind farm and two regional solar farm under construction. That's exciting That's news to hear. So it's great to see more and more renewable initiatives and that they're getting bigger and bigger. So Absolutely. we're getting greener and greener. <laughs> um, we are up to events. Um, and it's my delight to remind you again of this FEMA residential sales training event, um, which they're hosting and have been hosting a range of these events. Um, 
Today is the FEMA residential technical training, which is at 4 p.m. Um, and there'll be a link in the post. Um, to join FEMA, go to detail um, on their residential portfolio, including the React 2 and the Uno DM Plus Q range. This one hour training will go into detail on key components and functionalities of both inverters and spend time discussing the installation and commissioning required. So make sure if you want to learn more about FEMA product and these inverters that you are registered for that and they're offering 30 CPD points for that. And if you have some time, in half an hour, we also have Sangro um, new webinar. Uh, you is literally in half an hour, um, 1 p.m. to 2.30, and you can get 60 CPD points. Um, they will be hosting a free training webinar focused on how easy it is to commission the advanced CX range inverters for commercial solar projects. So, yeah, if you're free for lunch, that's the way to go. And finally, our friends at Smart Energy, uh, this is just a reminder of their conference and exhibition. Make sure you put the 9th to 10th of September in your diary. This is a very safe event because it is virtual. So you can be protected in the comfort of your home while you attend this conference get to network with people, get to meet face-to-face -face with uh, suppliers and, and industry experts, get to hear great information in the main auditorium. So make sure and you they, start preparing. They just that. released the uh, name of the speaker literally like 10 minutes ago. So check okay. their Facebook page um, to find out more. Fantastic. Well, Didi, we're kind of at the end of the event. We're going to play the video from... Um, Filippo FEMA's... Carzaniga. I said it Thank for you. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Thank you for watching, Italian everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next we're week. We're going to play that, and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye. Hi, I'm Filippo Carzaniga, the FEMA chairman here from Bimarcat in Italy. And I would like to take a moment to welcome one stop warehouse in Australia who has become our very first platinum partner in the world. We are committed to doing things differently and become a stronger and better femur for our partner, installer and customer. Our program that I'm excited to announce is our channel and partner program which will be officially launched in 2021 in Australia and then roll out globally. The channel partner program will strengthen our relationship with dedicated distributors and wholesalers who are committed to FEMA brand. We know that to be successful, we need to work together to offer our installer and customer a quality product and great service and support that you can count on when you need it. One Stop Warehouse is a partner who has shown dedication to us and here in FEMA, we can wait to continue our work with them at first platinum partner globally and to grow with them in the Australian market. Thank you very much again.